Hey, what's up? What's up? So I wanted to make some videos so that I can answer some questions that some people have emailed me and I figured why not answer the question so that other people can have the knowledge too. So I have a list of, I have my list. Let me pull up my list and I'm just going to go ahead and answer many of the questions that I received that I feel like people would love to know. All right. So the first question is what's the weirdest thing you have ever seen in a vending machine? The weirdest thing I've ever seen in a vending machine was a rock vending machine. Guys, people were buying rocks out of a vending machine and they were buying it for, listen, a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. And I know back then there was like this rock thing going on where like you could write something on a rock and like leave it out and someone else picks up the rock, you know, and that still goes on till this day. But people were actually buying rocks from a vending machine and like the rocks meant something. Look it up online, go on my at vending factory page. You'll see that I posted about it. And the person who owned the rock vending machine was making like $45,000 per year with her rock vending machines. They were spread um, throughout different locations. However, to me, I never even heard of something like that. So that was definitely one of the weirdest vending machines that I had ever seen in my entire life. If you want to see more videos like these, please comment and let me know what type of questions do you have so that I can answer your questions as well. And I'll continue to give you this information so that you are confident to start your own vending machine business, just like I did. I was a school teacher. I worked as a teacher for 11 years and then I um, had my vending machine business. So I absolutely loved vending, still love it till this day. And it can be something that you can start now and have it as a stream of income while you work your nine to five. Um, there are people who do it full time. So you choose what you want to do, but don't feel like you have to put all of your eggs in one basket. All right. So until then, or until next time, um, I will see you again.